Good evening and welcome back. I was sitting here contemplating whether I should actually I should make this video or not because yeah, it's almost ten o'clock. It's time for bed and Saint of Lost the Chiefs. Not surprising. Royals beat the Yankees four to two. So we know this: every league division series is going four games, which means. It could end as early as Thursday. It could. <coughs> Whether it does or not, well, we'll see over the next over the next three days. And we will see. And I can see. See? 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 Ah, uh, lordy. So we heard we're making the story anyway, so. Now we know Halloween's coming. Three weeks away. Actually, the provincial election. No, wait. Yeah, the provincial federal election is three weeks away from today. Yeah, I've already, I've already seen a few signs popping up already. <coughs> and the civic election is next month. Yeah, two different elections in back-to-back -back months. <coughs> well, anybody remembers back in 2020, the last time we had a civic elections all over Saskatchewan? Yeah, swift current. Well, we had a major snowstorm the weekend before, and the roads weren't ready. That's just, it. The roads were just not in good shape at all. Yeah, and walk, walking to the polling station here in Prince Albert's Lake. Yeah, that <coughs> that was not fun at all. Swift so Current, realizing realizing there's gonna be a low turnout, decided no, nah, we're gonna move our election to Friday. <coughs> Which is probably the smart thing to do. They knew darn well that the roads won't be ready on time. Saskatoon started theirs and then they said it's 2.30. Ah, we're stopping us. We're going to continue Friday. They couldn't do it. Couldn't just do that Friday. Prince Albert is like, no, we're having ours. We're having ours today. He's like, no, we're not moving it. I don't know how much the province... Actually moved us to Friday, but Prince Albert was not one of them. <coughs> yeah, of course, my new Prince Albert has a questionable plowing system anyway, so. Yeah, I just leave the residents to dig out for themselves and do the arterial roads, which makes sense. And the bus routes, which also makes sense. Now residential roads is like no screw you. I mean it would have been nice. But nope. Again, Edmonton is sometimes is is bad for that too. Of course they got a lot more arterial roads and a lot more bus routes, so some of them go through. Residential street roads are just like Okay. Like I mentioned, Halloween's coming three weeks from Thursday. One of my earliest memories of trick or treating. Actually, I remember kindergarten. Well, I've seen I've seen a picture of me in a you know, cowboy outfit. Yeah, it was a cowboy in kindergarten. <coughs> As I got older, it's like Halloween just did absolutely nothing for me. This is just to the point where it's like, start handing out the candy. That's about it. I remember when I was living in Dills and Town Halls, 
I was on my little coffee kick and I had to stop at Starbucks. No, find out one of the ladies there actually was a didn't lived in the same townhomes there townhomes area. Literally the next building over is like. I said, hey, I got a nice, neat little. Any old costume you guys want to see is like, okay. And sure enough, they came over, her and her friend came over. I recognized her friend. I was like, oh, uh, seen her friend. I was like, oh, that must be Elise. And looked over. Yep. The color with the black mask, black at the front, and yeah. It's like one of those times when you knew, know, know who the friend is. Like, oh, I know the person. Anybody else has seen us like, uh, who that? <coughs> it was a clever costume, I think it was. So, yeah. Not selfishly, I always wanted to see a big snowstorm on Halloween, but there's a consequence to that. It's called having to shovel it. Right, shoveling. Yeah. Uh, it's not probably not fun for the kids having to trudge through all that flying snow and deep snow. It's like, no. But yeah, there we go. So I guess I got a video out of this after all. So in the meantime, and in between time, stay tuned for the next one.